Hi guys, today I have the finale for my project roulette pan. So this was a year long project pan for 2019 and I went off of Rebecca from Panning and Stuff's idea. I believe she did this project pan in 2017 and 18 and I was just super inspired by her and decided to do it. She had originally maybe around 50 categories. I took that list from her and then took off a few categories just because I didn't have the things to pan in those categories. So for me, I had 46 categories to work off of. I will have the list down below if you're interested to see. And I just decided to pick 10 items at a time to make it a rolling pan. Whenever I finish something, I would just draw more categories in and continue to pan it throughout the year. So as of last update, of course, I had 10 products I was working on and I was able to finish four of them. I will show you the remaining, the four finished and the six remaining products first. And then I would talk a little more about the progress as a whole for the year at the end. So the four products I was able to finish should be no surprise. The first one, a black eyeliner from Roll Dial. This guy has been in this project for quite a little while now, and it's just a black pencil eyeliner. I had to sharpen it, and I really sharpened it all the way down to the little snub here. This part is just the plastic now I'm holding. This guy is kind of strange because I mentioned it many times. The lead or the pencil part inside of it, like in the middle, the actual color part, does not fill the entire empty space. Like it would just skip parts I would sharpen it, all of a sudden there's no product anymore. I would sharpen it more and then there's more product. So it's probably just a faulty product. And for that reason, I actually went through it rather quickly because it wasn't a full product technically. So that one is done and some progress is here. If you're interested to see, that's where I started one update later, two updates later. And right now it's actually just like down there so there's nothing left and I'm glad I got one thing crossed off the list now. I also finished a full-size setting powder from Laura Mercier. This one is the translucent pressed setting powder. It's just empty right now. There's nothing really to see but this one only took me about two updates but that totaled probably around four months uh, for me to finish it completely. I really enjoy this powder. It it is really powdery, like it has a lot of kick up, but on the face, it doesn't look powdery. So for that reason, I still liked it, but price wise, it's not the cheapest and it did go through a little faster than expected. So I don't think it's the best value for your money out there. I might just go for a cheaper brand or if this ever goes on sale, I will pick it up for sure. The next two products were both added in the project last update. Uh, this one is only a sample size product, so there wasn't like a whole lot to begin with. It's the Physician's Formula Spotlight Illuminating Primer. It's a sample size, it was brand new and I finished it. Uh, also this update, I think it's been two months now, so it's a little longer of update. There's nothing left anymore. I don't think I like it all that much. I don't, well, first of all, I don't think it does much for my makeup. At the same time, it's just a little thicker and I feel it leaves a film on my hands because, you know, I pump it in my hands and put it on my face. After foundation, I don't really see it on my face, but it's on my hand. Whatever I touch, it just gets everywhere. I have to wash my hands right away. So it adds a little bit of an annoyance for that reason and I don't really see any effects on my face, so I'm pretty sure I would not buy the full size of this. Then there's a foundation that I really enjoyed. This is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. This one, when I put it in the project, it was already fairly low, so it was only down there last update, and I finished all the rest of it. My color is 445 vanilla <laughs> so i think the color match is pretty nice as well and i really enjoy the consistency of this uh, foundation it's more on the moisturizing side it's not a super full full coverage foundation but i do like how it looks pretty natural on my face so overall i'm really happy with it i believe i have more of this foundation in my collection because whenever it goes on sale i try to pick up one so um it's a pretty good one now let's look at the six products I didn't get to finish yet. The first one is my Tarte Blush 
in the color peaceful this is a full size and i have to be careful because it crumbled <laughs> crumbled or broke because it's just too big piece now can you tell so i try to put them back in place a little bit so you can see that's basically the pen that i had can you tell so it's like about halfway gone i want to say i'm pretty proud of this progress because tarp blushes are beasts they're really hard to pan and i was able to use about half of this and it's really no easy task and honestly i've been using this for so long i am pretty tired of it so you know when it broke i wanted to repress it but just never got around to it and also i kind of just took that as a as an opportunity for myself to use something else so it kind of just got pushed back and i didn't really use it all that much last update uh, after it broke but that's that's where i am right now and i have another powder product i actually used a ton this is my physician's formula butter bronzer i do actually really enjoy this product and this is what it looks like for me right now i have a huge size pan i really want to repress this along with a blush now um, because it's getting a little harder to use it's still fine but i mean i would prefer it to be a little bit more even in the pan it does have some kick out but that's fine it's minimal and i really like how light it is especially for my skin tone it really doesn't stand out as a contour or anything it's just very easy to use and the only complaint i have is the scent it's just a little too strong for me personally but otherwise this is a lovely product i have one eyeshadow stick in this project eyeshadow sticks are really hard for me to pan and i am proud of the progress i made this eyeshadow stick is from mali it's in the color dusk so when i started the project i was there and then i went down to there after one update and i really tried to use it more this time around i just didn't get to finish it completely you can see i used about half of what's left so i'm pretty happy about that um well i sure hope i can finally finish it in 2020 because i tried to pan this in 2017 too and i just didn't get to finish it so it's kind of ridiculous how long this has been hanging around and i try to pan it twice now so i really need to finish this <laughs> because i feel at this point it's more like demoralizing me than anything so I need to conquer it soon the last three products are all lip products now one is my nyx uh, sand pink pencil eyeliner i did not use it in the past update it's just it's not the color it's not the season for the color and i'm just tired of it i think i'm gonna declutter it now you can see my progress didn't change at all it's been slow moving the whole year uh, this has been in the project since the beginning of the year too. So the whole year I used about one inch of the product. It's just, it shows me that I really don't like it anymore. So why bother? I think I'm just gonna declutter this one. I do have another color um, of this pencil in my collection too. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna declutter that one as well. Just, there's no point for lip liners. It's just not my thing. And then I have my mac angel lipstick this one i'm a little upset that i didn't get to finish it because i kind of just forgot about it in the last three weeks or so um i am so close too so this is uh where i was last update and this is where i am now you know it seems like it's about halfway done but in reality you see how slanted it is i am just so close to being done with it but i didn't finish it so yeah that's a bummer um yeah hopefully i will just remember to use it and finish it soon i don't want to drag this on for the whole year in 2020 there's no point of that the last product is from laura mercier again this is a uh extreme matte lipstick in the color fresh so it's a kind of crayon style and last time i marked it but it must have been rubbed off i only remember the marking was like all the way on the top of the cap and right now you can see that i'm about a third of the way down so i'm happy with the progress this one is really really pigmented and long lasting when i use this i don't even need to reapply throughout the day if i don't eat like a burger or something super greasy at lunch i don't even need to reapply after lunch because it just it stays so um, and it's pretty comfortable too for a matte lipstick so i'm really happy with the product and i'm happy with the progress 
I've made so far because there's no reapplication. Um, but regardless, I think this is a good product. I'm not upset that it's slow moving. I would just enjoy it when I use it. So now I just want to wrap up this project uh, overall this year. In this project, I worked on 28 products total. And as you can see, there were six that I didn't get to finish. So um, there were 22 products that I finished slash decluttered. I decluttered three products and finished 19. So I think overall it's all right. It's 19 products gone. And really without the project, I wonder if I would be able to finish those 19 products. So I think it's fun. I think it's challenging because I also know that in this project, I try to take on some of the products I otherwise wouldn't have chosen to. They are more full-size products. They're more brand new products. So they're not like your typical easy, almost used up mini products at all. Um, so I think for that reason, 19 is actually really good. I'm really satisfied with it. And it really pushed me to go out of my comfort zone a little bit when I picked my products because of the categories. So <laughs> I think that's good. Um, I don't think I will continue this project in 2020 just because I want to take a break from it. Maybe I would just do shorter project pans more often, like project tin pans or some of the five to 10 products, uh, product pans. I do find with the rolling style, it is a little harder and longer to film just because you always already have 10 products to explain that you were working on. On top of that, you have to add in a few more, you know, that sort of thing. So I just feel from the filming perspective, it gets a little too long because I'm talking about 10 to 15 products in each update. So overall, I did enjoy it and I hope you guys enjoyed it throughout the year too. I know I definitely slacked off uh, updating towards the second half of the year after my baby was born. I was just not filming regularly on schedule anymore, but I try to still use those products regularly. It's just that my updates are more sporadic. <laughs> And I'm sorry about that. It's just life gets in the way, right? Um, but regardless, if you guys enjoyed this video, enjoyed this uh, project overall, the finale, all of that, don't forget to give me a like and also subscribe to my channel to see more project panning videos next year or next year, this year now, 2020. And thank you guys for watching. Bye.